Hi, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're going to talk about something that's quite interesting that I've noticed. Um, I was looking at the Z900 because when I was physically looking at the engine, like, you know, crouched down looking at it, I noticed something that's rather strange, and it is rather strange. Um, I'll put some pictures up and I'll do a little doodle on the board. But here is a picture of the... Um, exploded view in a sense of the Z900 cooling system and I'll put the picture up now and then I'll draw and chat about it just so you can see it um, but basically it's a weird design and it's a weird design because as far as I'm concerned it's upside down so you have the cylinder head here with your valves in and then you have your cylinder here like this and if you look at this design the feed in, and I'll do a close up of the um, exploded view. The feed in, the coolant in, is into the head and then it comes out at the cylinders. Right? So, in a sense, this is backwards. A regular system um, is the coolant goes in through the cylinders and then it goes up the water jacket, through the gasket, into the head like so and then you have the out here and then there's a thermostat or what have you that's generally the way things are done but with the Z900 and the Z1000 the coolant goes the wrong way you can clearly see the arrows that the coolant goes the wrong way and I was thinking to myself what the fucking hell have they done this for and then I went and got the manual for the Z uh, the ZX6 and the ZX9 and so on and they have it the blue arrows they have it the conventional way so the zx series so the six the nine i don't know if they do a 10 and a 12 i think they do a 10 nowadays 10 12 and all this they have this blue conventional route where the z series which is actually zr the zr 900 the zr 1000 they have the cooling system in the green arrows the, the reverse system and i was talking to andy um, last week when I went to go and see Andy and Tim and he was saying his missus has got a ZX6 and he was saying that that thing going around London tends to get really hot and you know it's on the verge of overheating and then that got me thinking maybe that's the reason why because the hot spot in this system is in the head right it's got the largest surface area that is that's basically static so you've got a combustion chamber with valves and that's just static with a piston, the piston absorbs a lot of the heat on the way down, then the cylinder walls are exposed, then the piston goes back up, and so on and so forth. Now the piston heat is transferred through the rings to the cooling jacket, but it's also cooled by the squirters that squirt the bottom of the piston. So the oil also extracts a lot of that temperature out of the piston as well. So for the head, the only real extraction is, let's just say, it's 90% coolant, and it's 10%. Now these aren't numbered, these are off the top of my head. The 10% is oil. Where for the pist piston cylinder system, it's more like 70% coolant and 30% oil. Like so. Because the piston is the hot thing, it has to transfer that heat to the cylinder walls through the piston rings, which is a choke point. And the oil does a lot more cooling in all of this. So this is coolant and this is oil. So what I think's happened is, is that they've noticed this system. Now, the ZX series of engines is more of a race series, so it's more for you to go out there on the big roads and blast away. And when you do that on the ZX6, ZX9, ZX10, stuff like that, um, there's adequate cooling and your temperature hardly goes above halfway. When you go to city riding, which is not really what they've designed the bike to do, then it starts to have, not overheating, but close to overheating issues. Basically, it's not designed to be here. Why the fuck are you pedaling along at 10 mile an hour in London? But the ZR or the Z series, let's just get rid of the R. Uh, the Z series, the Z900, the Z1000s and stuff like these naked bikes aren't meant for going 150 on the highway and stuff like that. That's why they don't have fairings. They are designed for city riding, really, and going between cities and stuff like that. So they know that they're going to spend a lot more time at traffic lights and so on and so on. Now, because the heat generation is here, basically this system is designed to have the coolest, it's come straight from the radiator, this is as cool as the coolant's gonna get, to extract that heat straight away and then piss out the cylinders instead of the other way around. This system is quite adequate so you don't overcool your head 
basically the system, cylinders get the most cooling and then the head is warmed up a bit hence why you have a bypass and stuff like that to allow things to heat up but basically the Z series has been designed the other way around so they can keep the radiator size, keep everything the same size just by switching the locations of each um, it's just quite an interesting thing that they've done that and the other weird thing that I found out was the thermostat range holy shit the thermostat for the Z900 opens at 59 degrees 59 degrees C so they are this again this is to basically get the coolant in there quick and try and you know stop this thing from overheating um, because they know that as soon as you reach 60 degrees 100 degrees is not going to be that far behind because of the size of your radio but also because you're not moving so they want to get the coolant in there early because it'll quickly get up to temperature and I'll, you'll, I'll do some videos and stuff you'll see it with the Z900 she gets hot pretty quick but then it does actually manage to stay there the fan also comes on quite early it's got quite a narrow band as the fan and that's because of this um, the different design of cooling it's very efficient it's a more efficient cooling system obviously doing it this way it's just interesting to have an example of something where they've changed it from city riding to you know out on the, the big roads the big boy roads kind of thing it's just interesting to physically be able to see that and these are you know the Z900 the Z series now these are the newer design you know the Z900 was designed or released in 2017 where the ZX, I think this, this, this version came out in 2014 or something like that. So you can see that they've had that step change. And it'll be interesting to see in a year or two when they release the new design Z, ZX series if they are flipping this uh, cooling system around and so on and so forth. But 59 degrees for the thermostat opening is fucking madness. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.